dear students, uh, in previous lecture we have uh, the point that is uh, Kepler's laws. We have first law that is law of orbit, second one law of equilibrium mm -hmm. or law of area. Then we have third law that is law of period. Now we have next point that is satellites in circular orbit and their applications. First we need to know uh, what is mean by satellite. So satellite is nothing but suppose we have a body A which is the lighter body and we have another body that is body B right? and suppose this is body B and we have another body that is A which is revolving around it in a circular object or in an any object that is then the body A is called as satellite of the body B right? for example uh, moon is the natural satellite of earth because uh, moon is very lighter than the earth and it orbits around the earth in a circular orbit and also we can say that earth is the natural satellite of sun so that is mean by uh, satellites right so we have to see satellites in a circular orbit right now let us suppose we have a satellite which is having mass m this is the mass of satellite which is orbiting around the earth which is having mass m and having radius capital R m and r with the mass and the radius of earth Suppose we have a satellite which is having mass m, which is orbiting around the earth and at a height h. So h is the height of satellite from earth's surface. Earth's surface. So, diagrammatically, uh, here, suppose this is the earth, which is high radius, capital R, and we have a satellite, which is having a small m, which is orbiting around the earth in a circular orbit. See, this is the satellite, which is having a mass small m. This is the earth which is having mass capital M and the distance between the satellite and the surface of the earth is that is small h. Right. So the distance of satellite M that which is having mass M from the earth center will be it will be R plus H. This is the total distance, that is, total distance of the satellite from Earth's center or center of the Earth. Right. Now, we know that the centripetal force that is acting on a orbiting satellite that is given by centripetal force FCP, which is equal to M into the d square upon r instead of r here we have r plus h because the distance between the satellite and the center of the earth is r plus h so this is the centripetal force centripetal force is nothing but the force which is acting directed towards the center of the sun right. similarly the according to the newton's law of gravitation the force acting on the satellite by the earth that is given by F which is equal to your G into the mass of earth into the mass of satellite and divided by the distance between them and its square. So this is equation number one, this is equation number two. 
So this is the centripetal force and this is the gravitational force that is acting on the orbiting satellite. So, but the centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force. So we can write we can write at C D which is equal to F, which means gravitational force is equal to the centripetal force here. <coughs> Therefore, equating 1 and 2, we have m into the v square upon r plus h which is equal to g into the m into the m divided by r plus h and its square. So, small m small m gets cancelled and this r plus h and this one r plus h gets cancelled. Then we have p square that is equal to G into the capital M upon R plus H. Right. So taking square root, we have phi that is equal to square root of G into the M upon R plus H. This is equation number. So this equation indicates that phi, which is nothing but the velocity of satellite orbiting around the Earth in a circular orbit, which indicates that V does not depend upon the mass of the satellite. That is, velocity of satellite does not depend upon its mass. Next, we know that the mass of satellite uh, sorry, the weight of the satellite at certain height h that can be given by m into the g dash which is equal to gravitational force g m into the m upon r plus h and its square weight of satellite that is equal to the gravitational force right? this is happening at height h so we have instead of g we have g dash so here also m m gets cancelled and we have g dash that is equal to g into the m upon r plus h and its square now we can also write as here g dash into the r plus h that is equal to g into the m upon r plus h this is equation number now from equation 3 and from equation 4 we can write phi which is equal to square root of g dash into the r plus h This is equation number 5. Just we have replaced gm upon r plus h by g dash into the r plus h. g dash is nothing but acceleration due to gravity at certain height h. Right. Now, this is the equation for velocity of satellite that is revolving around the earth in a circular orbit. But when this satellite revolves around the earth very closer to the earth then we can write phi that is equal to square root of g into the r. When satellite revolves around the earth but h is very small here. h is very small. Hence, we can neglect H and if you neglect H, we can replace G dash by G. Therefore, this is expression for orbital velocity of satellite. We will stop here.